Hi YouTube, I hope you're all doing well. Um, I might cut this short if I get interrupted or cold. I had to close my door for some concentration. I wanted to thank the people that took the time to um, brighten up my day a little bit from having a rough time yesterday. Thank you so much, it did help believe that. Um, let's see. I was thinking about today how these people in Congress and people that work in the health industry, like Fauci in particular, lying to Congress, why isn't this person in jail? I, I, I don't get it. These are criminals that have lied to the public and lied to Congress and got caught lying, not just one time, but several times. And they're still walking free. That's just not right, you know? So I, what, what do you think about that? And how do we go about the rest of our future trying to round up these criminals and stop them from what they're trying to do to everybody? I mean, if, if these monsters got their way right now, I mean, like over in the UK where they had clinics where children could go in and change their sexual orientation and have um, uh, hormone blocking drugs or what is that? It's um, uh, oh, be um, I'll, I'll probably think of it in a minute. Um, gee, puberty blocking drugs. Why would you want to do that? And the people that have come forward that have had them sex change operations, the ones that have, are saying that they would not do that. Well, see, with the children, that's child abuse. And if these people got that way, I mean, over in the UK, that is child abuse. That's what they're doing. You know, we can't allow those type of things to happen to our children anywhere in the world, you know. So, and public health, that's everybody's business, not just a select few pushing their programs on everybody else. Like if I say, for instance, that I think it's entirely wrong for a man to be competing in women's sports when we're typically like five, six on average, and these people are like six foot five competing against women like in the pool and or how about how about like the, there's a teacher uh physical fitness or um gym teacher in california she lost her job for her religious beliefs because she wasn't going to let boys with genitalia saying that they're women go into the locker room with her students and she lost her job because of it. Or how about the transgender that went into a women's prison and assaulted women because he still had his male genitalia. These are the problems that we're facing. Excuse me a minute. I'm rolling cigarettes while I talk to you. So yeah, these are, are some big issues that are going on in the world. And um, in Denmark, for instance, they did a study where um, there's twice, or not study, it's just um, common knowledge that twice as many women this year alone have been assaulted in Denmark. What's going on? The war against women? And why are people pushing like, um, well, there's like the Jonathan Kleck channel that's pushing that like the feminine energy is trying to cannibalize the male energy. That's ridiculous. Men and women are supposed to come together like if it's your spouse or whatever, or, you know, um, as the other side of the equation, not one person all together bundled up in one vessel. Everybody's an individual soul, you know. And these, these creatures are trying to make it sound like, um, 
you go back right back into the fold of where you came out of. It's it's not like that. You were made individual. You know, I know I was, <laughs> you know. So just thoughts on my mind today. I'm trying to calm down a little bit. I thought I had peace and quiet and um Doug got stuck out in the yard with his truck and is in warming up just when I was going to make a video. I mean, it's not his fault, but it just so happened to be right at that moment, you know, little, little coincidental, but I don't know. I know he has memories of things from the past that he could be talking about and I asked him when he's ready to talk to me I'll be waiting I don't want it to be too late for people when they're out of time and I can't help them if I can help people make sense of what's going on in this world I mean without without anybody being endangered for their future I'm all for it, you know, if I can help at all. But I'm not going to sit by and just um, pretend every day if somebody's not in a, in a, like a passive mindset that that's somehow on me, like that's somehow my fault is how it's like the, the feeling that I'm getting from the whole thing is it's like a rapist blaming you because he raped you or her. So, well, my cat just snuck in here through a crack in the door like, well, I have a chair in front of it. And she came in anyway, sneaky little thing. Oh, well, but uh, do, does anybody else get that feeling? I mean, it's not just, uh, it's probably not just me. Are you feeling like the pressures in society? Like, what are they trying to do? And who's, who's saying these things? You got to look at, like, consider the source, you know? Why would somebody... I mean, there's been a half um, female, half man energy called Satan working with the women of this world and the men of this world of the same inkling um, for forever. You know, so why all of a sudden would people want to paint the feminine energy, not the Satanistic energy, which has nothing to do with masculinity or femininity. It's um, non-exclusive when it comes to gender. Doesn't mean it's all one thing. It just means they work all together. So why would these people be trying to push that one gender is going to harm the other when it's not a gender thing at all? It's a spiritual thing that these people are choosing to what with their words and their contrived bullshit to use doc doctrines, documents, and scriptures against the people themselves. Why would that be? Why would somebody do that? Wouldn't you try and find a way in those scriptures knowing that God loves his children? I mean, our Father, the Most High, not the not the scum of the earth that's um, running just about everything that they can. Not those ones. Um, that'd be like you telling your, instead of your child wants a bedtime story, but you decide that um, a horror story is probably more important or more appropriate for your child than something soothing. You know, that's what's going on here. People aren't um, trying to, um, they're not trying to console each other. 
they're finding ways and words and means and scriptures and everything to attack. Why would people do that? Because they're working for the dark law. That's why. There's no other reason, you know. So that's not just even an opinion. That's a fact of what's going on. I mean, if you have somebody that's a preacher and they're actually trying to give you the word of God and they're not um, interjecting their, um, like they're not demeaning you, but they're actually gathering you in a group instead of um, trying to slander anybody else or do something to anybody else if they're actually like a preacher and they have a ministry, is it is it a healthy ministry? And who are they ministering to, you know? And what kind of person would listen to it, you know? Now, if it's your enemy and you're listening to it and you're pointing out things that these people are doing because they're freaks and you know it, and you're showing other people that, I commend you for that. That's awesome, because that's what we're instructed to do, is to point out the evil on the planet in these times so we can put an end to it, you know? And that's really what I try to do on a daily basis. I do feel much better today. Got my exercises in and some stuff done there. I mean, I did stuff yesterday but it was a hard day to do it, you know. So, aren't you a little disgusted, though, going back to these public officials that um, get caught lying and don't actually have to have any punishment for it? I mean, we pay them, you know. It's not like it's even a, like if you're a contractor, and you hire somebody and they don't do their job, well, you can take them to a court of law and you can sue them in a, well, like a, if it's like a, um, oh, I forget what it was when I had to do that. I forget all that right now. Anyway, my point is anybody else in any kind of legal situation like that and these, these are people we pay, not, not somebody that, um, well, in a sense, yes, we hired them, but it goes far more than that because they are um, raised to be put in these positions. They go to their Ivy League schools so they can learn the things they need to learn but I wonder how many of them have ever taken a class in psychology. Well, maybe more. Or I, I, I mean, I know like the CIA, they're pretty big on psych, psychological operations. You know, that's what the whole thing is anyway. Because in all reality, most of them should be in jail. Not only for not doing their job, but for harming people in the process, you know. I don't know, I was going to go somewhere, and then I heard a Doug's cat scratching on my door. I think he's too big to get in through the crack. But anyway, I'll get back to what I was saying. Um, maybe. But yeah, I mean, as far as paying public officials and they're not doing their job, they're only not doing their job. That was my point with the contractors and subcontracting or hiring somebody. If they don't not only do their job, but they do something criminal while they are on that job, it's not only neglecting their work duties, but actual criminal offenses. So that's like two crimes, not just one. 
maybe add it up to three if it's premeditated that they're going to be shady going in it because they all know what they're doing. So, um, I did uh, share a video in my community, um, a couple of them, the day we traded for our VW bug. It's a race car. Um, one best of show in World of Wheels. And um, I, another video that I was talking to Doug about, um, it's documents. So, you know, what's been done to it, who did it, where it was from. It's a California car. So, anyway, it is a beautiful car, and I put that over there if you want to go look at it. And then I, when I was looking for that, I ran across some buddy named Lady J had written on the one with Doug in it that, well, they both have Doug in there briefly, one of them, but um, I see 007 had said that Doug had just gotten off the sex offender, child sex offender register. First off, I never heard that he had said that. If he did, might have been when we were mad at each other because we were for a while. So, but then I don't know who this woman is and why she would even repeat that because it is a lie. And um, another thing, when you're on a child sex offender list, you don't never get off it. And Doug's never been on it. So, I mean, if there was a list for being an evil dink, he'd be on that and never, never probably get off, you know, but that's not the case. So, Lady J, um, you shouldn't spread mis and dis. Well, it's not even disinformation, it's a flat out fucking lie. And I don't even like uh, having to defend my enemy, but that's a pretty serious charge. Because some people, if you know that you've hurt a child and you think that somebody's hurt a child, it could cost them their life. It's like people calling me a mason, you know? It's not a funny thing. I don't take that shit lightly at all, you know? So, anyway. And furthermore, if I was, just for people telling me that, I would contact a lodge in your town and I'd have you taken out, you know, or something would happen to you. You don't think so? Oh, yeah, it would, one way or another. You'd either learn, lose your home or your job or everything, maybe your car too. You don't think that's how them people work? Yeah, well, think again. Every small business on this planet, in towns like it especially, like hardware stores or whatever, they're all affiliated. All your moose lodges, your lions, and that could have had a lot to do with the people that came against me too because when I started talking about the people that, um, uh, I'm coming up against, which would not only just be the Masons, because people say, well, the Masons and this and that. There's so many affiliated organizations. Mason doesn't, and you say 33 degree or 32 doesn't even know what the 33 is doing. That's all upfront bullshit for people to, um, oh yeah, they have an organization. They pay their dues, and wherever they go, um, if they say, like, if their car breaks down or something, they could get a hold of one of their brothers in in a immediate lodge and get some help, that type of thing. Um, that goes on all the time, stuff like that. That's how that works. Or if they need a favor of some sort, they do do that, yeah. I'm not saying what the favors would be. I don't know. 
because I'm not an Eastern or affiliated with that religion. Anyway, do I wish ill will on the people that um, use witchcraft against me? Yeah, yeah, I do. Lately, I've been putting it right back on you. So when you're feeling these things that are happening to you, that's me putting your your energy back on you, right with God's help. So say what you will whenever you want to say it, but I'm going to stop you fuckers one way or another. I'm so sick of you getting away with whatever you want to do on this planet to people and not caring and thinking that you can control the good people in the world that are trying to help everybody. Even your dumbasses, that's how stupid you people are. And I'm not talking to my subscribers that um, love people like genuinely and you're authentically a nice person. Not that fake ass shit, I'm talking actually a really good person. I'm talking to you um, for you, not against you, ever. So when I'm talking about these, I'm talking about them, not you. Just so, just to be clear on that, you know. And I hope I don't get cut off. But if I do, I love you all and I'll leave it there for today. But I don't think I will. I think I'll make it about my half hour. But, um, yeah. I don't know, someday, I guess, maybe, maybe, like I say, said before, and I'm not certain on this, if I ever get a definitive um, feeling or thought about this, but I don't know that this planet is ever supposed to be okay. Maybe this is just the place where we clean out all the dirty blood and those that can ascend will and those that can't won't maybe that's just how that is but i heard that somebody thinks that i may be maybe not meant to leave here or something mm, not so sure about that one thing i do know is like the whole heartbeat of the earth or something i've always been um connected but as far as not being able to ascend or being in a trap of some sort, that's not true because my soul knows better than that. So I don't know who might have said some funky information adversely to that, but that's not true. Yeah. But as far as the demonic people, I'm not talking about a spirit. I'm talking about people that lavish in the demonistic ways. I mean, they love it. They just love it. They love to lie. They love to cheat and manipulate and be cruel. They love it. You can see it on their face. You know? I'll give you a for instance. One time, uh, my heart was breaking. And I looked over at this woman that was supposed to be a family member of mine. And she was looking at me like, laughing in my face, rolled the fucking eyes and laughed in my face. It's like, oh, wow. Whew. Okay. That kind of kind of made it really clear to me. <laughs> you know? And, it, you know, if it wasn't just one thing or one time or something, but usually um, if you have a, a tender heart, you go back for not just round one, two, or three. You go back for a whole nother fight match because you didn't get beat on the first time bad enough. You know, well, my heart's a little sick of that. You know. Yeah. If people want to be in my life, they'll make it very clear to me. I won't chase them. And if I think they actually really are a friend, I'll communicate. But if they're not, I'm, I'm not chasing after anybody. Not at all. You're on your own. <laughs> you know, don't think you're not. 
you know, in that respect. But if you're fortunate enough to know what side your bread's buttered on, well, you have a good friend, a really good friend that can actually do things. Well, now there's something here. When I think something and it happens in the future, I'm not quite aware of when I'm doing it. And it's like I um, predicted some numbers one time. And I just changed them spur of the moment because I didn't like, um, I didn't like the idea of, well, like the Eagles against the Chiefs. I at first wanted the Eagles to win because I didn't care either way. <coughs> but the more I thought about um, the dark cabal chasing me all around and all that bullshit, I just decided to switch it up because I figured it wouldn't matter anyway because I didn't think anything I thought would have anything to do with it. So if anybody's thinking that it did, I still don't know. Or if I did, I, I can't really say how that works. It's a spur of the moment thing. And I know that's why some people are afraid of me. Do you know faith can move mountains? But most people think they can and they can't. But if you actually know you've done things in your life and you can see the results, well, then obviously you know the, you know, not, not that Satan or God won't help you, one or the other, achieve your goals. But um, people actually think that they can materialize things and manipulate energy with their minds like God does. And you're not capable of, no human being on this planet is capable of doing that. Not even Satan himself. All they can do is manip manipulate material things. They can't produce it. You know? And once again, I'm just talking out loud, just journaling my day. So whoever thinks what is whatever, you know. But, but what I can do is say a prayer and put good energies towards something. If some, somebody wants to achieve something and I can help them achieve it, I'll do whatever I can to help you achieve that. You know, that's one thing I can do. I now really... Do not, maybe, maybe I have one person that would do the same for me, but I've never seen it. <laughs> maybe people have prayed for me. I've never heard about it. I've actually really never, maybe I have felt it, maybe. I think I might have, but if I did, I didn't recognize it because it was so rare. And I thought, might have thought it was a fluke, you know. So. So how do we go about getting these creatures out of our White House? Because round two is coming with their plague shit. They're not done. Not by a long shot. Some of you know, some of you don't know, but I found vials of stuff like AIDS and polio and H1N1 when I was 12 years old or maybe a little younger in the Masonic Lodge under a stair in, in a hidden compartment. And I got in some pretty big trouble with all of my inquisitiveness. Um, but these viruses were made right here. And I know it for a fact. And then they were taken out of this country, first to Philadelphia, first to Anoka, Minnesota, the Halloween capital of the world, and then to Philadelphia, and then to Singapore. So, and what I'm saying is a fact. I saw it with my own eyes. 
there were three different um, cases. Uh, well, two were more like box type things or the other way around. But uh, anyway, little teeny vials full of all kinds of stuff. And it's not a joke. They're not done with us in that respect either. So as far as wanting to have these criminals seized and put in jail for not only the crimes, but treason which is not only do you lose your citizenship, but you can face, uh, it's punishable by death. You know, I don't need to see him dead, but I'd surely like to see him on a chain gang. If you don't work, you don't eat. That's my, um, I like that idea. Chain them all together, right from Hillary Clinton right up to everybody, all of them. And that's how I'm feeling about that. But, and why why Hillary Clinton? Because when she started her shit with it takes a village to raise your children, my children and I were severely attacked in a lot on a high level for a lot of different reasons and trying to teach my sons the word of God within that hell just started in our country. Yeah, I'll give her in village too. I'll hang her in the town square by her feet. So anyway, yeah. So anybody, you can, if you want to admire that, and I know somebody that I like that does, you go right ahead. Um, my heart has more value, and my mind more strength and knowledge than that piece of shit could ever gather. gather in her whole entire, she could live for a gazillion years and never have what I have in me. So I admire her way with your funky shit, you know, her and her gay husband. So whatever, because, uh, yeah, screwing a girl under his desk with a freaking cigar, what a bunch of, get them the hell out of there. These people are 